Hey, welcome everybody to uh, Periscope. If you're uh, some of our Periscope uh, followers here today, thank you for joining me and hanging out for just a little while. I want to talk about uh, post-camp challenges and strategies uh, for youth ministry. And, uh, and also, if you're watching this via YouTube, uh, on my YouTube channel, this is what we call the Tuesday Panic. So thanks for joining me for the Tuesday Panic. If you're a subscriber, thank you so much. If you're not a subscriber, you can go over to youtube.com slash uh, Jedi for Hire, and you can subscribe there and get videos like this all the time in your inbox. So anyway, so let me start with uh, some of the challenges that I have. And by the way, if you're watching there, hi, welcome. Uh, all of you guys, and you guys feel free to pop in with some of your questions. So my, my opening question is, what are your challenges for post-youth camp? Uh, what are your challenges for following up with kids? Um, and I'm going to, if you feel free to comment as we go along. Um, for me, it is um, knowing how much or how little to do. So the challenge for me is gauging our kids. I've done several things in the past where I have uh, I have handed out devotions. Uh, I have handed out post camp devotions. I have done YouTube videos. I have done uh, all kinds of things to follow up with kids. The, and I'm probably going to do maybe a devotion or something this year. But uh, but I'm feeling more and more where I where individual conversations this year are going to be important. Um, individual meetings to kind of break down with kids. You know what exactly they experience with camp. And not just allowing the information or the feelings drive the discussion, so to speak. So, in other words, when they come back from camp, and I'm, I'm trying to do this slowly. We've already done camp, so I'm still trying to um, catch up with kids and talk with kids about their post-camp experience. Where I'm going to do uh, just to sit down, talk with them, and say, "Hey, where are you at? So, what did you, what did God really do in your heart, and and what are you trying to implement in your life?" Because I know standard maybe maybe said well we're gonna have a devotion and here take this and we've kind of done our thing and and now you take your devotion and go with it and uh and that kind of you know we don't have to you know maybe work so hard or however you want to phrase that um but for me for this year uh, i think it's just going to rely upon individual um individual conversations that i'm going to have with people and uh i'm going to say you know sit down and have whether it's lunch or dinner or breakfast or maybe it's just a facebook chat uh, maybe it's a FaceTime. I don't know what I'll do, but but basically it'll boil down to one-on-one -on -one conversations to really figure out you know where kids are at and what I can do. And they don't have to be super deep. They don't have to be hours long. Uh, but for me, it's going to be you know deep enough conversations where I can help them understand what they experienced and what they're what they're experiencing now that they've come back from camp. So I would ask you guys that are here on Periscope. Uh, feel free to share with me what are your challenges post-camp. What are some things that you struggle with after a camp or a retreat or uh, anything like that where you have taken kids somewhere and come back and then you hope to see what, you know, what is it you hope to see? Maybe that's a, another good place to start there is too, is talk about maybe, um, you know, with kids at least when I have those discussions, talk with kids and what are, what are your expectations now that you've kind of entered back into what we call the real world, right? And so for the real world, uh, I, I would I would challenge that to say that camp is the real world to some degree because you're because of the spiritual nature of it uh, that that's the real world and that the world we come back to is somewhat the fake world, and so in doing that. Uh, I, my, that would be my challenge. In fact, I'm, I'm working on a kind of a post message uh, called gravity um, because, you know, coming back to, or, you know, coming back to earth, you know, you're re-entering uh, a different community, a different, um, uh, a different atmosphere than you were in, right? You were up in camp and floating around and you were seeing the stars and you were checking out the planets and you were just way out there and gravity had no pull on you versus when you come back to uh, what we call real life, that real life gravity grabs a hold of you and says, okay, well, this is now you have to function like this and you have to forget about the stars. You have to forget about the planets. You have to forget about all the emotion and all that stuff and just, you know, get busy. And I would say that, you know, that maybe that's not necessarily true, but the real world, the spiritual world we live in is something you always have access to. Um, so, hi, hey John. Yo. <laughs> Yo. That's my son, John, uh, here on Periscope. Everybody say hi, John. <laughs> if you're there, just say, yo. You're not going to see very much of him for a couple weeks. He just got his Xbox One, so. Yo. But, uh, yo. And, uh, and so, uh, for me, uh, that's the other challenge is, is our expectations versus 
a student's expectations, you know, what they expect from themselves and what I expect from them as a youth ministry, right? We want them all walking with the Lord. We want them all, uh, you know, reading their Bibles. We want them all praying. We want them all doing those things. And those are all very good things. There's nothing wrong with those things. Those things are biblical. Those things are part of our walk with Christ. And those are the things we want to emphasize, you know, with them to do. But I think that's going to have to happen on a one-on-one individual basis as I talk with kids and say, well, where are you at on these disciplines where are you at in these types of things um and and then be able to help them uh grasp the gravity right and say how do i help you now that you're back into the gravitational pull of the earth here how do you help walk that out um so those are those are the challenges and a little bit of strategy there uh what are some of the strategies that you've used if you're here on periscope what are some strategies you've used with kids in your youth ministry how do you help kids adjust to the atmosphere that is earth versus, you know, what maybe they experienced at camp, which hopefully was heaven, uh, for them at least, you know, heaven kind of drops down for a little bit and, and does that. But I, but what are the strategies you're, you're doing with your kids? What are some of the, the things that you do with, uh, and by the way, if you're watching obviously via YouTube as well, I would love your comments. What are some things that you do with your students, uh, to help them transition back from that place of camp back into the gravitational pull of the earth, uh, and, and and what is defined as real life, uh, and those things. So I appreciate your comments. Um, some other things that uh, I'm planning on doing, at least with our students here, you know, is not, like I said, is not doing as much um, uh, with the paper, right? Not doing with the devotional. And, you know, it's going to be a lot of personal interaction, a lot of personal stuff that we do with students. And so uh, I, that's kind of my take on that. That's kind of my, where I'm at with students this time around this year. Uh, I still may get, I don't know, I'm still, I'm, you know, I'm fluctuating. I'm kind of waffling on the issue because I, I'm, uh, I'm always committed to handing them something, right? I'm always committed to saying, here, now take this and do that. And I think information without the relationship, you know, is, it, it, I think it may just go to waste. I mean, it's going to have to be me and talking to them. And, and for those who want to be in a discipleship kind of relationship, uh, it's just going to be me, me, me and them talking about, what they experienced at camp. And we had a great camp. You know, we had a great uh, deal. We have always have a time at camp where we're talking together, sharing together, uh, where we gather up on the last night and we talk and we pray together and set goals and, you know, some of those things. And so we're going to break some of that down uh, coming this week. I'm going to talk, like I said, tomorrow night is youth night at, our, at Fusion, which is in our youth group. And we're going to, uh, we're going to talk that out. And uh, I'm going to share a little bit about gravity and how to re-enter the atmosphere of those things. So, Anyway, thanks for hanging out and joining me for just a little while tonight to talk about post-camp uh, strategies and challenges. If you're here on YouTube watching, uh, please go ahead. And if you want videos like this in your inbox, don't forget to subscribe right there. And, uh, and also, um, don't forget to leave a comment. I would love to your comments on uh, post-camp strategies and challenges and how you're working with them. And in addition, uh, if you're a regular watcher here on, um, on my YouTube channel, then feel free to uh, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Let me know you like the videos and you want more of them. And of course, those are right here on Periscope. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for just a little while. Does anybody want to anybody want to chime in? Does anybody want to say anything before we leave tonight? I'm, I'm just kind of waiting to see. I know there's lurkers out there. But if you'd like to say hey or say hello or ask a question, this would be a good time to do it. Uh, if you would like to ask a question here on Periscope about camp or about strategy or about uh, post-camp, things like that, please go ahead and share with me. Anybody? Anybody want to share? Anybody? Anybody? No? Maybe? Kind of? Sort of? No? All right. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining me here on Periscope just for a little while. Uh, and I hope that uh, you'll follow me next time. You'll get with me and uh, we'll have some more conversations about youth ministry and the challenges of youth ministry. And uh, and I pray for you and you pray for me. And we'll go from there, guys. So anyway, thanks for a uh, good night. Thanks for joining me for a little while. And I'll see you guys next uh, week, I hope. I'll be at preaching at camp. But hopefully I'll do a video from camp on Mentor Me Monday. So anyway, you guys have a great one. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.